Speaker, when on average house prices are ten times wages, we know that it skews our local economy, but it also drives housing poverty, so damaging to my city of York. The Lib Dem Tory Council has presided over this housing failure and has seen a fall in social housing when there is such desperate need, whilst at the same time developers have made their millions building luxury apartments our city just does not need. York's Council should get to grips with what is happening in housing but has failed and I am glad that the, the, the Government has also rejected their local plan. But just last Monday, the Council failed again when it signed off the 72-acre Brownfield site, building over 2,000 luxury apartments our city doesn't need. I juxtapose that against the 11 homeless people that lost their lives in our city last year, against the, the people I see in my surgeries who are living in box bedrooms, whole families in that situation, and people, children, sleeping on sofas. That's the reality of York, which so many people know as they exist in housing poverty. But not only that, the Council handed over its influence over the future of the site too on the commercial agreement whilst contributing £35 million to this site. It must be stopped and reviewed. Residents are rightfully angry. They are being driven into deeper housing poverty while the elite move in on their space. They are being driven out of our city and they are being ignored. While people invest in their assets and purchase their commuter and second homes, my families are cooped up in unsuitable, cramped and damp housing. York, which calls itself a human rights city, is the most inequitable city outside of London, and this latest development will simply make it worse. The Tory Lib Dem Council's plan just supports corporate greed over local need. It must be changed. It will start with a Labour Council who will build the housing that our city desperately <coughs> needs, which will put right the local economy, economy by ensuring that we have got the skills that our city needs. 500 people we need in the NHS who can't afford to live in our city, not to mention the care workforce. And we will relive the dream which Joseph Rowntree planted yes. in our city as he built the houses fit for heroes, as he built the housing developments which set the <coughs> whole um, agenda around garden villages forward, sustainable green homes, and ensure that people across our city could live and enjoy our city. Labour will make the difference in York. It's time for change. <coughs> Jones. Yeah. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Well, this has been a short but good debate. Quality, not quantity. Um, and we